Hello everyone, we'll see how to use the two dots in Flutter. As you can see, I'm trying to use the paint class and trying to draw a, a circle over here using this paint class. Anyway, so here I have used these two dots. So what's the easy way to understand this one? Say for example, if we didn't have this one, how do you do and go ahead and do the same work? So first here, of course, as you see, I have created a paint object over here, but I didn't initialize it. So in general, first I would go ahead and uh, uh, initialize it. So I would call paint. Okay. Now this variable over here, it holds the paint object. Now because it holds paint object, we can access underlying properties or methods using this one. So definitely I can access like the color property of it. So this is the color property. Over here now I can set it to color say colors dot red okay yeah so now here this is equivalent to this one over here okay well now this object over here it has uh, more other properties that we can access so let's go ahead and do it so the paint dot is anti alias I'll here set it to true okay all right so now so I'm using this object to access the color property using this object to access the anti alias property so this is equivalent to this one okay now I'll comment it out now I'll run my program and I'll see a red square over here as you can see red square okay so now now why people write it like this that's just because of simplicity oh definitely i can go ahead and change the color to say black okay now we'll see black over here or the color that i'm passing from here okay in the constructor i can set it to that one okay now i'll have a, a bit of different color so this is equivalent to this one now in flatter dirt a lot of time people write it like this that's because of it saves you time for example the same thing I could write over here like this paint so first I'll get the paint object and I initialized it that means I got the paint object initialized it and put it there then I want to get it again so that's why I will have two dots okay so I got it after two dots I can access all the property it should have so I can access color this one now I can set colors to black or whatever I like and then I want to continue I want to access more of this property within this paint object so what I would do I would do dot dot okay and then I would do anti alias over here equal true okay now whatever other things you want to access you'd be able to access all of them so now let me comment it out okay so now let's run it so they have the same effect the only thing it did it, it didn't have to write this paint again and again just like this even though this is the classic uh, object oriented way of doing programming but in some new programming languages relatively with dart so they have this uh, two dots operators so it saves yeah it does save your time but at the beginning it might look scary but this is exactly same as this one so if you don't feel comfortable with this just go ahead and write like this okay hopefully you learned something and if you did don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button